my name is Dan. And I'm Matt. And this is Seattle Tap, where we're going to be talking about some rare beers that are available in Seattle and around the world. So today we have Lost Abbey's Red Poppy. All right, Lost Abbey slash Port Brewing Company is from uh, North County of San Diego. North County. Oh, so it is in San Diego proper. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of Escondido area. Okay. Mar- oh, San Marcos. Okay. Okay. I got my first park uh, speeding ticket there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And uh, they are known for a lot of blended beers. They're known for their sour beers and their flat beers. Apparently, they're very infamous for having beers with little to no carbonation in it, but that's not Red Poppy. So, Red Poppy is a Flanders Ode Brune, which we're gonna, what are we gonna expect from that? Sour, clearly. Yeah, just like the, the Morona Sudafi, uh, we're looking for sour. Uh, a lot of fruits, uh, cherries, a little bit of citrus, kind of uh, a lot of lacto, uh, lactobacilla, and, yeah. uh, uh, and also a bit of wood as well. This one is, is aged in oak barrels. So you're going to definitely find some wood in there. And uh, probably, as we discover from other oak brunes, some balsamic vinegar on the finish, probably. Yeah. So uh, we have some, uh, some of their other famous ones, uh, Cuvée de Tomé or Cuvée de Tom uh, is quite a famous one and this is the angel share but it's their grand crew which is hasn't been available yet and the reason that we're doing red poppy is that up until recently it has not been available in seattle it's only been available in uh california mm-hmm. so finally we get it up here yeah we did see it about two years ago but very very small quantities uh this right now we're able to get it uh Pretty much anywhere. Yeah, but sixteen, seventeen dollars a which, bottle. Which is what you're going to expect when you're when you buy a last Lost Abbey in a three seventy five. <laughs> yeah. And the normal uh, Lost Abbey Angel shares are sixteen, seventeen dollars as well. You know, the rarer fare, the Cuvée de Toms, you're only going to find in California, or in the Sinners Club, back when they had the Sinners Club. Yeah. So, Sinners Club was an exclusive membership-only club, very similar to the Brewery Reserve Society. And hopefully this will pop and not spit, on, uh, spit all over me here. Hey. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid of that. Well, I'm glad you caught that, because this is clearly... Go grab a bucket. <laughs> this is clearly a fully carbonated beverage. Right now. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, as we let this idiot die down... Okay. And we're back. <laughs> so. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Red Poppy, very much like a lot of sours, will explode Explode and overflow and make an enormous sticky mess. So whatever. We're going to get right into it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Stupid Red Poppy. Oh my god, that's even more sour than I remember. So this is one of the most sour beers I've ever had. I mean, I've had it before, but oh, it smells really sour. Wow, that's extremely sour. Um, I really like this. Me too. As a beer, as a sour. So, one thing that we've had conversations with people that do mini verticals of red poppy, and uh, consensus is that it fades with time. So you're you're gonna lose a bit of that cherry flavor. Uh, it's just not gonna pop as well. It's gonna get a bit more tart um, and a little bit more. Wood, leather, funk, you know. Absolutely. And probably. Yeah. A lot more funk, actually. Yeah. I mean, I, I had a bottle of this when it was fresh when we just got it in, and a lot I, more I, got, I got a lot more cherry, but and it wasn't quite as sour. It was still real sour. Also, it didn't explode on me that time. Yes, the perils of drinking sour beer. Yeah. So anyway. Another thing we'd like to do is point out new releases here around Seattle and um, where you can get them, if you should get them, that kind of thing. So if you want to talk about some of your two favorites from Great Divide. Sure. Um, so right now uh, uh, the Chocolate Yeti just came out, the, the Chocolate OK Yeti from Great Divide. Also uh, Southern Tears, uh, the Stillwater, I believe, um, or Blackwater. I forgot the name of the the series of beer, 
their chocolate, their their imperial stouts, their oh, yeah. their imperial oatmeal uh, called oat, or their vanilla called creme brulee, their java. chocolate, the java uh, just came out. Okay. Uh, so the java's new. Uh, the chocolate just came out previously. You can still get it now, um, but the next release will be the mocha, which is a blend of the the chocolate and the coffee. Oh, cool. So another one that um, is of interest to this area is Odin Beer or Odin Brewery started bottling, and so did Fremont. Mm -hmm. uh, Fremont, I am very surprised by recently at the uh, Cask Festival. They came out with a, some oh, yeah. bourbon barrel vanilla bean something crazy Russian Imperial Stout that won hands down. And, and their their winter abominable as well the their their winter bourbon warmer. barrel yeah the winter bourbon, warmer bourbon they, they have a normal bourbon barrel win, uh, abominable ale but this one was you know with vanilla it was crazy it was insane so it was great to see them doing bottles finally instead of just they they fill growlers and distribute growlers everywhere um, not a big fan of that so their bottles I'm really happy to see them distributing their IPA and their pale ale. And, I don't know what else they're going to plan on doing, so that's cool. And Odin has a good amber. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried their Kolsch style. But the Kolsch is good. But their amber is really good. And then finally, uh, Fish Brewing. I think it's it's still Fish? Fish Tail? Fish? fish I don't know. Tail? I, I forgot. Oh, yeah, Fish Tail is still around, is it, right? The, yeah, the people that make 10 the, squared. No, that's Real Ales. Real? Oh, yeah. who, who am I thinking? Uh, yeah, no, the Fish. They, they just released their Swordfish, the Cascadian Dark IPA. Okay. So, I think we tried that at the Caspier Festival. I'm not entirely sure if there's, that was the same one. There's some confusion about fish brewing and fish tail, I think, because yeah. fish tail makes organic. But whatever. There's uh, the new dark IPA that's out from them, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty exciting. And Cascade doesn't have anything new. That was fish, right? Has their new yeah. black IPA? Uh, fish, they call it Cascadian black I or oh, dark right. IPA or black IPA. So it's not from Cascade. Yeah, it, it's probably the Cascade hops variety is my guess. Yeah, so cool. So that's what's coming out. Um, give it a look at your local bottle shop and or QFCs, Whole Foods, PCC, things like that around here. And we'll see you later and hopefully wash all the sticky red poppy off of our hands. So cheers. <laughs> cheers.